what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today I'm going to show you where you can uh, locate the auxiliary battery or the accessories battery for this 2014 Range Rover Sport so let's just go right where the battery is located and the battery is gonna be right here alright guys so the battery is located on the right side uh, rear pillar uh, it's gonna be located right here and the, the only way you can remove uh, and expose the battery is removing this cover uh, you just have to pull really really hard like this and it has some clips as you can see it has one and one got stuck right there and it has other clips around you just have to pull really hard and uh, the battery is right there I already disconnected it as you can see so right now I'm gonna test the battery with this and I'm gonna show you that it's bad actually I believe um, that one has voltage all the time so um, the battery must be alive all the time so it can provide a uh, feed to electronics so I'm just gonna go and test it out with this little machine that I have we're gonna put this bad boy in there and as you can see it's dead it's not even reading anything so it's completely dead and also it's the the original one it still has the logo so I have a replacement right here and I'll show you right now how it must look it should look like this 12 bolts and when you press the metal it must go to green so that means that means the uh, the battery is good so um, the only way to test the battery is removing it from the circuit because if you test that circuit uh, it's gonna give you 12 volts and that's voltage from the module um, and you have to remove it out of the circuit in order to to make it work the test so right now I'm gonna remove it it's pretty simple you're gonna need a 10 millimeter for the clamps and an 8 millimeter for the bolt right there it's gonna be this one and also you don't have to remove the whole thing just lift this lift it and then pull the battery like this and it goes up all right guys um, I have to get another battery because the other one that I had it was a little bit big but this one is perfect I'll give you the part number for it uh, it will be right here this one is 180 amps so it's a little bit lower than the uh, you know what it's 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 good it's to 225 amps so that's good the minimum is 180 when it's cold it's a 12 volt battery and the part number would be right here that's the part number auxiliary 12 and you're gonna get this battery but it's gonna come like this so if you notice on the original it has round connection like that so you need the adapters to put it on and then you're gonna be good to go so let's go ahead and install it bolt and lift it up like this Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, since this adapter doesn't fit this side, I'm gonna have to uh, do a little bit of drilling, just a little bit enough to get the adapter in here. So I'm just gonna use these pliers to hold this and put something, some rugs, because I don't want the carpet to be all full of metal right here. So I'll use something like this and just kind of slowly drill in. Slowly, slowly. 
when I get only connection in there. Alright. So now let's check and probably we're gonna need a little bit more. Always gonna start small then work all the way up slowly. Let's see if it fits. Nice. Perfect. are tight so now that the battery is installed now what we have to do is we have to program it we have to go to a module and reset the counter basically we're gonna tell the module that we install a new battery in. so let's go ahead and do that all right I almost forgot to tell you you have to turn on the car and make sure it's charging because if you turn it on and it's not charging, then you might, you might want to check your fuses and cables. Alright guys, so we are here. And the first thing we have to do is, well, you need a scanner like this one. Because um, once you replace the battery, if, it, if you get a message about the auxiliary, then you have to do the reset. So I'll hit hot functions and... I'll go to let's see battery so we're gonna have a battery replacement and let's see you have to get access to the module okay perform diagnostic command so here we have the secondary and the main battery so we replace the secondary so we press that one it says turn ignition on, which is already on. Press OK. The procedure will reset the store internal. So what the module does, does um, it, uh, it's all the time, how can I say it, monitoring the battery. And once it's replaced, we have to uh, do a remonitor uh, reset for the battery. What it basically means is it's just uh, monitors the life of that battery that's what basically is and we see here it's doing the reset and I gotta apologize for the noise because we have the fans on because it's really hot in here so yeah come on come on and we have the complete so we're gonna turn off the ignition switch press ok and we turn it on again and we we'll press OK and it's gonna erase codes or initialize the module or something like that yeah it's gonna read the fault code so I'll wait for that alright so we we'll press OK turn off the ignition press OK again and yep it's done so right now I'm going to uh, do a, a general scan for all of it all the modules and see if we get any code alright so we're passing all of it Pass, pass, pass. All right, sounds good. Seems good. So before I was getting codes about the uh, battery on the back, and yeah, I don't have any codes anymore.
all right so we have a full scan and we only have one code let's see what it is all right it says lost communication with body control but that's not big deal because it was probably because of the battery but yeah we don't have codes anymore so right now i'm just gonna take you to the code that i had before see so as you can see that's the code i had before b13 c5 secondary battery and it was permanent because it was dead all right so this is pretty much how you install and reprogram the battery replacement start or whatever they call it it's just an auxiliary battery for this 2014 range rover sport and i hope you like the video guys please if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe like hit the like button and comment down below and also turn on the notifications to receive updates on the videos all right guys see you next time